Good morning, boys and girls of the internet. How is everyone doing today? So we sold the Ford Ranger. We must be on a Ford kick because shortly after we found this 2007 Ford Exploder. This thing features the infamous four liter V6 that eats head gaskets, timing chains, cranks, you name it. Uh, some of you guys seem to like those motors. That's okay. You know, I'm just picking fun at it. I, I don't really care for them. Uh, as you can see by the lights and the fact that you can hear it running, this engine does now run. Uh, so far, we bought it under the impression that it had been sitting for about three years due to a dead fuel pump. The crap inside the uh, gas tank confirmed this. <laughs> Pulled the tank, drained the tank put a new fuel pump assembly, the whole unit, sending unit and everything in there. Uh, $15 with the fresh gas, spun the motor over, wouldn't hit a lick, had no spark. Pulled a coil pack that we had as a spare from what well, we've done a million of these motors. So pulled a spare coil pack out, threw it on there, still wouldn't spark. That moves to the crank sensor. The crank sensor down there was just beaten all to death thanks to the harmonic balancer. These balancers have a rubber dampener between them. They have a rubber dampener between them, which is this. These are the rings that the uh, crankshaft position sensor reads to detect engine rotation for firing. And this part of the balancer is what the belt is supposed to ride on right here. And this is just rubber. This is just the dampener itself. This pulley is supposed to be up here. It's supposed to be like that. And what happens is as the rubber wears out, it actually breaks the seal between this and this. And this, this part of the pulley itself starts to walk backwards and then it pushes the belt down onto the rubber. And as soon as the belt starts to jump, it forces this back really quick. The belt lands on this. Stuff is falling over there. It's still falling over there. There is a very slight lip right here, which keeps the belt from walking all the way off. And then the belt just starts to cut new teeth into this rubber. So this does not actually have teeth on it like that. That is literally just from the belt riding on it for, God, there's no telling how long. Well, it rode on it until the harmonic balancer was grinding away at the inside of the crank position sensor until it chewed it so far apart, it couldn't read anymore and the car stalled going down the road. They assumed it was a fuel pump. Uh, well, they had it towed back to their house and they didn't get around to fixing it. Some time went by, they went to digging into it. It wouldn't crank, it wouldn't do nothing. That's because the fuel pump had failed, probably from sitting. And, uh, and this is what actually happened. This balancer came apart. This part walked, this is the part that goes inside the engine on the crankshaft. And so the pulley walked backwards through the belt down here. It kept running until it chewed through the sensor and then bam, the car died going down the road. And that was all she wrote. So we got a new balancer, a new crankshaft position sensor, a used coil pack and a brand new fuel pump. And that's where we're at now. So threw a battery in it. Like I said, some fresh gas. She fired right up. Uh, the interior is not horrible. It's just been sitting. Uh, it's got two hundred and one thousand one hundred and half a mile on it. Bone stock, like I said, it's an 07, so it's got the newer style interior, radio, floor shift, all the stuff I don't like. Uh, the rear seat had something setting in it that leaked. Uh, the stains will come out, but that right there is like almost like it burned through the material. So that's a stain that, or that part of it will not come out. Uh, the headline is in good shape. It has rear vents, but no rear heat and air control. Uh, it's just a regular Explorer Limited, if I'm not mistaken. Aluminum wheels, 16 inch. Chrome's kind of flaking on the grill. Paint's in good shape. It's just really dirty. It's got a roof rack on it. It's got the, the courtesy lamps. It's got the black housing tail lights has the advanced track, which whatever that is, and it's got the small two inch receiver hitch. This is a XLT, not a limited. So these have a one piece rear trunk lid while mine up there on the heel had the two piece with the, the fascia trim that always breaks. 
we've got no check engine lights of any kind we do have a airbag light for a seat belt sensor on this side which we can probably remedy with a new seat belt switch it is a six disc cd changer it has a clean carolina title and uh and it was 900 bucks not running so we spent about 100 bucks on a fuel pump 14 dollars on a crank sensor um what else 60 bucks or so on a home on a balancer 20 bucks in gas something like that and the tow bill is like 50 bucks on a battery where i'd say we're in it for like 12 ish somewhere in that ballpark so now it's just the easy stuff the motor seems to run great we've got to fix the blend not the blender but the blower motor in the dash uh I don't know if it's coming apart or the bear is seized or if there's a rat's nest in it, but it doesn't sound healthy. So we're gonna put a blower motor in it, put some hood shocks on it from the other exploder, uh, clean this engine bay really, really well. Wash it, wax it, get it all detailed up and pretty. We're gonna throw some tires on it. These are too dry rotted to sell. Uh, probably be used tires, but we'll get a set of matching four that are decent. That lens is off of this marker or that fog light so we'll need to find a fog light and yeah besides that i think it's mostly just little cosmetic things of course it'll get an oil change and we'll drive it you know for a week or two to make sure the fuel or make sure everything's going to work out on it uh, especially if you had a vehicle sitting like this so the ranger ended up being way more intensive than i thought it was going to be but hey we got it all worked out in the end so time to move on to the next one and that just happened to be another ford so here's you a Ford Exploder. And uh, this is what you see is what you get. So 2007 Exploder with the 4.0 two-wheel drive automatic. And uh, this will be our next flip car. So stay tuned. We'll get it all cleaned up. Like I said, we were in such a rush just to get this thing in before the storm hits tonight. I didn't have time to sit down and film every bit of it. Plus I don't have enough camera space. So I just figured I'd do a walk around afterwards, but you heard it run and it runs pretty good for sitting up about three years or so. And uh, yeah, so we can call this a win. And yeah, I guess that's it, folks. Thanks for watching. Drop that comment down below. Let me know what you think. What would something like this in your area sell for? Um, I like hearing the comparisons. Like I said, we're gonna put tires. We're gonna do all that stuff. It's a Southern truck. There's no rust. There's no rot. It's very, very clean. There's no leaks. What would it bring near you? $900 Ford Exploder. All right, folks, we'll catch you in the next update on this one. Thanks for watching.